Meredith. And I'm Amanda. And, and this, this is Fighting Farmer TV. Hey guys, y'all want to go somewhere to eat today? Yeah, but where? I'm saying Chipotle, but that's on you. Who wants to go to Chipotle? I do, me. Because did y'all know half of the money we go, like half of the money we spend there, we'll go to Avid, like our Avid Then let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, yes. But before we go eat that delicious food, here is Chewy and Sam with We'll get the scores to you ASAP, and the girls have a game on the 9th. The guys have a game on this Saturday, the 14th. So come watch them. Uh, also, the girls' soccer schedule has been posted on the interwebs, and that season will start. Um, swim and dive have a meet on the 10th. Congratulations to... Kara Isaac for breaking the 500 women's record. That's all we have for this week. Yeah. And this has been... FSPN. Girl, why are you so skinny? Because I'm eating healthy because of blood. I want to donate. I want it to be good blood. Girl, good. Okay. Ooh, even though I hate needles, I'm still trying to save a life. Yes. Right, yes. So y'all saying I got to do this soon? Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Save a life. God. Okay, my baby. Well, if you want to do that this November, that's well. Meet us all at the auditorium foyer and arena foyer at 7.30 to 3 p.m. I, I guarantee it will help someone in the future. We have a new show starting today. It's pretty self-explanatory. Here is Harmony Lies You. How many countries make up North America? That's a lot. One. Bruh. Oh, it's three. What was the three countries. Yeah. Or do you have to name the country? USA, yeah, yeah. Canada, yeah. Mexico. Hey, Mexico. Shut up. Alright, <laughs> alright, he got them. How many countries make up North America? Where do you. Isn't it three? Yeah. What, co what country? E United States, uh -huh. Mexico, and Canada. <laughs> hey, she's more impressive. <laughs> How many countries are oh, in North America? Yeah. How many countries are in North America? Right. That states in New York, not only is it why I feel it. Next question. That's still wrong. How many countries are in North America? That states in New York. Okay, I know George Washington's on. 
first on the throw. Abraham Lincoln's on the fifth on the throw. Thomas Jefferson. Was that a president? Wrong. Alexander Hamilton. Okay? Who was on the $10 bill? Jonathan. Wrong. <laughs> Auditorium, the LASD Board of Trustees will feature a recognition breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Followed by a salute, salute to American, American veterans, veterans at 8.30 a.m. Yes! Be there! You better be, because I'm going to be there. Um, here's a video that we have for you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. The teachers that are participating in the No Shape November contest. Shave my hair. Oh my, I wouldn't either. It's not even my hair, and I still don't want to shave it. See this? How goofy it is? I do not want to get this off. Oh my god. Let's trade. You take my weave, and I'll take your rest of it. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're here with Mr. Owens, and we want to ask you a question. Okay. Why do you want to do No Shave No Hair? Because it's for a great cause. I mean, cancer is something that is right in my family and I've seen the effects of it. Anytime we can raise awareness to it and do something fun. I mean, I really don't like growing my facial hair out. It, it kind of itch a little bit, but it's for a good cause. Um, it's something that the, not only the faculty can support, but the students support it. You want this. I see the excitement already in the cafeteria of who's going to get to shave their head. So this is why I do it. Is there anyone you want to beat? <laughs> wow. You know, I would like to beat all of them, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I got some stiff competition. Uh, I've heard that uh, the students would love to see uh, Coach McCann shave his head. So I'm sure he's going to be a tough one to beat. Also, I've noticed that uh, Coach McCallum has been taking around the bucket to each table. Wow. Um, getting support for himself. Uh, so, you know, it's all good. It's going to a good cause. Um, I hope every student here participates in it. I hope every faculty member participates in it. And I hope it um, again gets the information out and gets the awareness out about it. Okay, thank you, Ms. Owens. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Thank you. I hope you win. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye. We're here with Mr. Fletcher and we want to ask you a question. So why are you doing No Shave November? Well, since I don't shave as it is, no, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> It's for pancreatic cancer, and my age group is one of the largest age groups for people who actually die from patriotic, or patriotic, pancreatic <laughs> cancer. Excuse me. That, and I like to help as I can across campus, and I like to do unexpected things, and it's kind of been my nature. So, anytime I can help out with fundraising or anything with student life, I try to help. So, who are you trying to be? Uh, I'm going to go against Mr. Willie. Another Mr. Willie. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Fletcher. All right, thank you. Mr. Boyle, um, can you tell us why you were doing the No Shave Yeah, I think like many of us, uh, I know people or I'm related to people who are cancer survivors. And uh, to a person, they are survivors because of research that was done, you know, that resulted from money that was raised to develop new procedures and um, surgeries and medicine. Uh, and so we're helping to, you know, push that fight forward. Is there anyone that you would like to beat? Yes, Mr. Willie, because I'm jealous of <laughs> jealous of his fine head of hair. As you can see, I don't have quite as much hair as he does. So, so watch out. <laughs> okay, we're here with Mr. Willie, and we're going to ask him, why are you doing No Shave November? Man, I'm so glad you asked that. I'm doing No Shave November to just raise awareness um, about pancreatic cancer. Um, but not only pancreatic cancer, but all cancer. Cancer is, to me, I feel like it is one of the, the worst ways for your, your life to be affected. And I feel like there's so many people whose lives have been affected. I know my life and so many people uh, here at the school, the staff and our students have been affected by um, cancer and pancreatic cancer. And I just want to help raise that awareness and I want to raise money so we can put to death these uh, the, these horrible horrible cancers. That's very good. 
Who are you trying to beat, Mr. Willard? I'm, who am I trying to beat? I'm trying to beat all of them. I want to win. <laughs> and I mean, if we're really thinking about it, Boyle, Owens, and uh, I mean, McCann, they, they, don't, they don't have much to work with. Um, so my, I think my true person is uh, Mr. Fletcher. He's got all that hair and I just, I'm, I want to win. I want you guys to raise money and I want to, to be the one to be able to shave my head, but not only for that, but I want to be able to be able to tell the story. Like, bro, why is your head shaved? Well, my head is shaved because we were raising money for pancreatic cancer um, awareness. And so not only that, but if the school, if you guys can put $500 in my jar and I win and we raise that kind of money, I will shave this beautiful hair bald. Everything wow. gone. Wow. All right? Well, you heard it here, folks. FFTV. So we want to raise $500 in Mr. Willie's jar if you want to see him go completely bald. Off. All of it. Gone. So, thank you, Mr. Willie. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well, that's all we have for this week. I'm Amanda. I'm Brandon. And I'm, yeah, you know, I'm Dale or whatever. And I'm Marlene. And, and this